Today, we're gonna shut down rack A, which is the big one. We're gonna shut it down because we've got to leak search this condenser coil because I don't trust it. Yeah. I don't trust it one bit. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? <laughs> That's how you do it right there. I mean, your battery ain't worth shit. You put a battery and you wire it in. That's what's up. can't do this when it's running obviously because condenser fans are sucking all this air up so I couldn't find any leaks anywhere in the store so I had to check this because it just does not look good. So, if it turns out to be no leaks, then okay, whatever, no leaks. But, I had to test it. And every once in a while, make sure your thing's working. These usually have a, a deal right here for you to test calibration, but, if you don't have that, like I don't have it, make sure you're, yeah, so it's working. And that thing ain't even really leaking. So. Ooh, that's oily right there. Uh, that's a lot of oil right there. Also, when all this was running, I had a bunch of air kept moving around here, so that interfered with my leak detection process. I get a much more accurate leak detection with the fans off. More sensitive when you put it in manual mode. In case you don't know. A lot of freaking oil right there. I really don't like that. And neither do you, I'm sure. For some reason, this side of the coil ain't nearly as bad as that side. There's a leak somewhere, because it's low. And I've already checked in the store. So I'm not gonna bother to check in the store again on camera because it's just a waste of time. And I don't like to waste time. Yeah.
so I've already checked in here once earlier. That was that was when the fan was running. I didn't get anything then. But I did get something out there. Let's see if I can weasel my way through here. So, as I was saying, picked up on a leak out here a little bit ago. Not right there. That needs to be closed better, or open better. That's halfway closed. You see that? Mm hmm Now then, I picked up on leaks right here on the broken valve. Still leaking. It takes my, uh, my, my leak detector uh, a few seconds to respond because it's got issues, but it responds nonetheless. Okay, so I can't have rack A off for very long, you know, because there's a lot of product on it, so. Now that my leak detector's warmed up a little more, I'm going over this condenser as best as I can. Ah, bad footage. I need to hire a cameraman. Why not more of you guys subscribe so I can start uh, getting a bunch of more views and then I can hire a cameraman and get y'all better footage. That's right. Okay. As as bad as I didn't trust this coil, it appears that it was made with copper that's reasonably thick wall. So I don't think it's leaking. So, come back over here. We'll grab this highlight right here. And let's see if we can confirm a leak. It is a very slow leak. See, we got a bubble grow in there. This is all, of course, with the pressure down because um, because it's off, of course. But it is a leak. That's all I can find, unfortunately. So. That's where it's gonna stand. Let's see how much it leaks when I turn it back on. All right. Good. 
powered back on now. Oh, interesting also. This thing was saying that we had a receiver level at 20% when we actually have uh, a circuit that's low on refrigerant and bubbles in the side glass. Now, I've got a suction header for low uh, temp and a suction header for medium temp. This one's for low temp, this one's for medium temp. Low temp liquid line, low temp, uh, medium temp liquid line. So the case they called in was a dairy case, not holding temp. Very strange also because it's in the middle of a of an aisle. So you would think that it would be at the end of a line set, the furthest one, if that would be causing problems, but actually not. It's actually in the middle of an aisle. So to fix that, or to test it, not to fix it, I shut off the low temp liquid line and after I did that this side glass filled up since it was only feeding one now the medium temp and my receiver level at that point rose from reading 20% to 28% and my low t medium temp dairy case started cooling so that's how I concluded I got a leak So, that's all I wanted to show y'all, I guess. So, just because the condenser looks like that doesn't mean it's leaking, but you gotta test it. And now I'm just waiting on this, uh, on this thing to start up. So that really concluded the work on this one for finding the leak. Now, I was able to stop the leak with these new caps, but then I came back and I had to unsweat those three that were leaking and I went back in with all new ball valves. So it was a pretty fun job because that big copper is not easy to work with. You might think it's easy to work with, but it's really not. Especially if you don't have the right tip for your torches, um, it can be a big challenge. And you gotta make sure you don't have it off too long so that the food doesn't melt on the inside. But that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. I got a lot of old footage. I'll try to get it uploaded soon. See ya.